Operation Plan 52, Odin and Dragon. back to another bit legend video we're back boys i'm a bit flustered because if you take a look down here and you see those mutations we're we got a problem on our hands so enemy strike plus five ally attack damage um minus 15 enemy crit plus 150 restores surviving enemies hit points when they get killed to 30 percent when each enemy round starts deals 120 percent of attack damage to random ally I thought this used to attack two allies. Um, who knows? I could just be hallucinating because this is uh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be bad. I'm really excited to fight Odin and Dragon, but under these circumstances, that is uh, a little bit, a little bit scary. So we are going to take a look at the monsters. We're gonna go down to Legendary, scroll down to the bottom, and then you can take a look at him. Tons of stamina, 40% hit points, 200% crit damage. So if you remember the mutation, that's gonna be. Um, 350 and I believe it's a critical percent chance by his head so yes he can crit and when he does it's gonna be pretty bad really tanky stats and then also the mutation that revives the enemies to 30% when you kill them is gonna make this pretty much near impossible and I don't anticipate winning this his attacks are closest enemy closest enemy closest enemy to SP random enemy then he does have a heal team right there just to make things a little bit more difficult for you. As far as a fusion, I've talked about it before. Um, he's very disappointing to make. He's very expensive, and his his kit looks horrible. Um, his skills are not cool at all. Um, he's got the stats of a tank, but he's supposed to be a DPS. This guy needs an entire rework. What I will say is that the, the art looks <clears throat> phenomenal on this guy. I don't think um, there's a better looking piece of art in game. And if there were cosmetics to make you look like him, I would have them in a heartbeat. That would be awesome, but let's go in here. I can't really, um, I can't really procrastinate much longer than I already have. So let's go, and let's see. Will it give me my energy thing? Um, I've got energy in my bag that I can eat. I got it from the battle pass. Um, future videos that I'll be looking to do will involve these super catchers. I want to show you guys how to use them again in case anybody missed that video. But also, I want to. Um, show what I'm gonna do to try to stable up a uh, full armor mech because I'm still working on him okay and this is it so the game plan is to run into legendary mode and so we're clicking that red button there um, and then we're going to I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a full attempt but we're totally gonna lose this um, so after that I'm going to um, go into hard mode and just do it that way um, I am going to switch out teammates here. I really don't want to do this, but um, absolutely have to. We just got to get more stamina on there. I actually might get Azure in there. Moonlight's plus 10 and Gossler's plus 4. That's why I'm hesitating here. But I really don't see any other option. If I run any other team, um, I'm just not going to make damage now. If I run any other team, though, it's just everyone's going to instantly die. See Gosler there. Uh, you guys know how I don't like to change my team, but uh, we're changing my team. Doop, doop, doop. We got a lot of heals on there. Full armor can heal single target. Feral can heal, heal single target. Pioneer can heal team, even though Pioneer's <clears throat> health is super low. And then Gosler's got a horrible heal team that I probably won't be using, but all these guys can do a little bit of damage as well. So that's what I got. Let's go in here. I'm assuming that Pioneer is just going to get targeted by the attack random and you're going to listen to a 10 minute video of me crying about it, but we'll see. <sighs> okay. I'm going to make sure autopilot's not on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm digging the map so far. I believe that's a Chimera. What I'm looking for is SP Shrine. What I'm finding is, oh, I think I know this map. No, maybe it's just random, but whatever. SP Shrine. That's really good. It would be cool if there was an item that would allow you to peek. I I don't think the boss is down there. I think the boss is either right next to this Chimera, or the boss is um, up in the top right corner. Oh, please. 
Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you guys probably wonder why I'm making a big deal about this, but uh, it's, it's a big deal. Because I'm, I'm going to lose people in those fights. Please. Oh my goodness. The dream. The dream. Oh. There's no way to fight the trash backs without, without losing somebody. So we have a chance now. So keep an eye. Look, look, look. We got a reflect in there. It's really good. Um, Gossler has a horrible heal team skill. This is just garbage. I think that's honestly a typo. It should not be that low. Um, but can I do anything? Target enemy? What is this? Deals. Attack all. Let's try to snipe somebody. I think... The highest damage is Chimera, and we take him out with one shot. That's really good. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna do my attack random here because it's big damage, and then I'm gonna heal target here, just like that. Okay, all right. The tanky team. Oh, the strike. There's nothing you can do about the strike. That's just it is what it is. <clears throat> we are going to potion. I don't know why I cough so much in these videos. It's probably psychological cough. Okay, <clears throat> so. We know that Odin does not do an AoE attack team. I don't know what these other guys do, but I'm gonna assume they also don't do an AoE attack team, so I'm gonna to try to <clears throat> do some damage on him. Closest enemy, sure. Okay, we got another one down, another one down, okay. Mount skill, didn't even scratch him. Okay, there is an attack team, I'm not worried about it. Now would be a good time for the uh, Pioneer heal to top everybody up, but I'll wait for Pioneer's turn to come around. Let's focus him down. Okay, good. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Attack for this. Because I think Pioneer can heal him before. And the pets. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. He's not doubled down. He's only like that. Okay. And so, um, Full Armor and Pharaoh are the ones that are. Um, the ones that I can't potion. We are gonna finally use the heal on uh, Pioneer. So we're looking actually fairly respectable. I don't know what the blue guy does. I don't really wanna find out. Let's do attack random. It hits him, that's what I really want. That wasn't attack random, that was something else. Let's do attack random here. Go. Cool. Okay, full armor is completely down. He's not responsive. Attack target enemy. Oh boys, this is winnable. It's gonna be horrible and difficult, but it is winnable. God, that's so much damage. Okay, everybody except for the tank has used a potion. And just out of habits, I'm going to switch there. Do I wanna heal? I feel like it's gonna be one shots from here on out. Let's heal, let's heal. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Colby! This video is dedicated to Colby doing all that community work. You know, being a liaison with the devs, bringing the info between dev and player. Um, if you don't know, he's been putting in a ton of effort behind the scenes. And then it's obviously not gone unnoticed. Uh, it's still dedicated to him if I lose, though, because he wants to it on Colby. Okay, okay. It's too early <clears throat> to get excited, especially when he's still one-shotting fools and I have, I'm running out of potions. I'm actually gonna potion myself here, just to get that value, because of what's gonna happen is if I, if I don't do it now, it's gonna be too little too late, I swear. All right, he's down, woof. I think that's the last one. I should be using big potions, what am I doing? I'm being a noob. All right, this is attack target. I always forget what this one is, this is Attack closest. I should have used that one earlier, yeah. I'm trying to just dump their SP as fast as possible in case they die. Also, keep in mind that um, Odinon is going to revive. The reflect was good. That was beautiful. All right, no potions at all running in. But, um, yeah. Odinon, he's going to revive once he dies. And the attack random is just still going to keep going and going. Jeez, oh, my goodness. Smokes, we're so smoked here. Oh, what an epic battle. We got a pretty decent map. 
Um, we did perfect skips to get to the guy. We got an SP shrine right before the boss, and then we got that. Oh, the chances of me getting another map that good or being able to skip that well. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Feels bad. I should probably switch my team back, but whatever. So close. I've been having so, so many close fights with uh, the world boss. My team will knock the world boss down to like half. And then, um, there he is up there. I see him. Can we skip it? So close. Um, but yeah, my team will knock down the world boss to like half. Like usually my team just autopilots a thing, no problem. But on the difficult fights, um, Adam is the name of the world boss. He can just uh, one shot my entire team, everybody except for the tank. And then there's been a, like, I'd say right now it's around 1 in 10 where my tank can finish him from 50% to zero just with perfect blocks and dodges and all that stuff. Um, I do think that in a week or so, um, instead of winning 1 out of 10 times in those scenarios, I'll probably win, um, hey, there's the guy going. I'll probably win around 50% um, of the time. And then in two weeks, I think it'll be 90% of the time just based on the progress that I've been making. And that doesn't include any uh, new stuff that's been announced recently with the updates. So I'm very excited. Um, the guild boss new mode is coming in, so that's exciting. Um, so that will be fun. There's a bunch of other stuff coming in. Um, little fixes and just content and so on and so forth. If you want to see all of the updates as soon as we get the information, jump in the Discord. Link is always in the description. And uh, you can check it out in the news channel because we definitely have that. I am realizing that I've had my sound rather high the entire time that I've been playing this, but you know what? It's too late now. And uh, we can I use the other one. Let's just go autopilot. For anyone who's wondering, this is hard mode, this is not full mode. And you know what? Yeah, we can, we can turn that volume down a little bit. I don't know. Every time I film, I think it just automatically turns the volume up. But whatever, we've talked about that before. Bang, no biggie. Wrap this one up. I think I have enough tickets from the battle pass and just from the daily today that if I spend it all on experience books and I don't get this attack random mutation that I just can't deal with right now, um, I should be able to get like at least a level and a half. And so we're, we're totally closing in on um, being able to max out Kung Fu. And I don't know if I said it before in this video, but if you max out your class experience, so you get to level 100 and you don't want to um, stack up class experience for a future class coming out or for maybe you want to max a second class in case you want to do something fun, um, what you can do is you can take your PvP coins and instead of converting to red books for class experience, you can actually turn your PvP coins into GBG tickets and that will get you more um, chip material so you can roll more chips per day. And that's actually gonna be pretty significant there. So it's nice. I like how, you know, once you're finished grinding something, you can focus and work on something else. I like that a lot. Um, that's pretty good. Also, as far as mounts, I have enough mount materials from the recent um, events and, and battle pass, whatever they call it, to roll a second legendary mount. I'm just waiting on epic materials. I've been using all my epic materials to roll um, amplifiers. And I gotta say, that has been very rewarding. It was definitely the smart move to do. Every time I have um, improved my amplifiers, it has been a noticeable boost in my tanking ability. So I, I first had four amplifiers with one defensive bonus. I, sw I finally did a ton of rolling, and then I got double defensive bonuses on all of those. And then I recently got my fifth amplifier, and then I got double defensive on that. So we're making moves, and things are happening. I got an, my third legendary defensive chip, so that gave me 2% more block over what I was using. So that's a small victory there, just simply getting something that is not a thermal damage chip. Um, I'll call that a victory every time. So things are happening, we're making big moves. Um, I don't intend to really try to grind to level 200. Um, I'm not gonna smash my head against the wall too much there. Um, I'm just gonna take that one, enjoy it, and not, not worry about it too much. Um, the grind definitely does increase as far as um, how much energy or time you have to grind to try to get your level up. But things are happening, man. We're feeling good. 
Um, everybody on the friends list in, in the guild are definitely feeling the uh, the tank improvements as well. Um, there was definitely a period of time where when we're fighting against the, uh, the raid six boss where I'm like, does defense even work? I'm getting one shot through block when I had a ton of damage reduction. It was just silliness. Silliness, I tell you. All right, anyways. There you go. Join Discord, check out the news, check out the updates. I'm so excited for what is about to come. I wish the patch would be here already. Um, feeling good about it. When I finish off my uh, Kung Fu, or once I finish off my class here, what am I gonna spend on? Uh, Mount Materials is a maybe. Let's go back to the 1X so that people can see the price is normal. Mount Materials, probably not, honestly. Um, I guess I could save up for um, Lost Cores, but that's so expensive, man. Pet people and Zalon, everything's here expensive. I'll probably just stock up a ridiculous amount of these Elim currency and just chill once my class XP is done and my mount's done. And then who knows, I'll just wait so I can react to new content when it happens, when changes happen. Is that enough? Probably not. All right, not a big deal. We do have a bunch more. Oh man, let's go back to elimination. It's just that attack random, man. I knew I wasn't gonna get a better opportunity than that one. So who knows, I think once I put on like 700 more total stats as I slowly get um, legendary and mythic gear and, and get it upgraded, um, then I think the attack random won't be that big of a deal. And then also with the event, Let's go over to the event over here. Where is it, Rich Booty? Um, you can get these catchers. And if you're getting 10 epic catchers essentially for free just from playing the game, um, my, I mean, my goodness. Just from playing, you're getting that. And if you can get that ever so often, I don't know if it's like once a month or however long these events are gonna be around, um, that makes stabling legendary fusions plus 10 um, very realistic. So a future video will be me doing exactly that, using these catchers and doing it. But remember, this event is not 30 days. I think the last one was 30 days. This one is uh, five days, 10 hours remaining at the time of filming this. So it's only one week long. So I don't know if we're going to have um, another event to follow this or we're only going to get one rich booty event per month. I don't know. We shall see. I thought the last one was a full month long, but who knows? I enjoy this so much. 20 red books. 20 red books just from, oh my goodness. Anyways. All right, fellas, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.